So my name is Christian, I'm 31 years old. Uh, I'm living in Singapore since two years. And uh, I was born in France and I grew up in the South. And my topic today is to make things happen. So what to do, what to believe, and what to act to be able in your life to keep control and to act to really change things and get some improvement about your personal targets. So, who am I? I'm nobody here perhaps, but I will talk a bit about my personal story. This topic actually is um, something I really believe in because I, I apply every day to myself the concept that I will develop today. And it changed a lot of things during my uh, experience in life. So actually, I'm in Singapore to work as personal trainer right now. And um, I'm a nutritionist with some celebrity in Singapore. I was doing the same in Paris. I do personal training with some private clients here. And um, oh, sorry. Doom, doom. Okay. Um, and I'm also working currently as a lifestyle coach every day with uh, some different person. I also developed the concept of EliteCoach.com.sg, which is a, a company who provide sports services for people who need to improve and change their own life, mostly on the sports side and on the fitness side. And um, I'm also working as a model and actor for MediaCorp, so I did some movies on the side of my um, fitness side, which is uh, totally different, but I really enjoy to mix different experience. So before that, um, I was on a different background in France, and I was just a normal kid with a normal family. Nothing uh, was mm, telling that I will come in Singapore one day and did a lot of things like that. But I always believe in my potential and I always believe that if you really want something, you need to act for it. And you need to make a process to change the things and to make these things happen. Even the people with you don't believe in your potential, even sometimes you think the context is hard, you can always try, make the first step and see. Because I know a lot of friends of mine, they always want to change things, but they will never try. Actually, this is opposite to my concept. I want to say that if you never try, you will never be able to change, even the first step. So my background is a bit complicated, I will put a lot of things, and from that I will talk about my topic. Okay, um, so I start when I was 15 years old at the elite military school in France. So I leave my family, I was 15, and I work as an intern uh, in this military school, which is uh, preparing me to the really strict rigor to be like an officer in the army, but I don't like to have a, a manager on the top of my head, so I choose to switch to some sport lifestyle. Then I work as a lifeguard during uh, three years in Marseille. I was also working as a firefighter uh, on my free time. Uh, I have a passive of uh, sport uh, athletes, so I was triathletes. I say I was because since I'm in Singapore, I don't have time to train anymore. I train too much the others, and I really miss it, but I used to train a lot for the Ironman swimming and Ironman in high level, so I will talk also about the highest champion experience, how they believe in this kind of concept too. Um, I was swimming coach for triathlon with uh, very high level athletes. Some become a French champion. And uh, I was working in the school for five years in Paris. My certification is a master degree. Um, I used to speak for nutrition in uh, national education system, and on the side I was finalist for Mr. France, but I lost the competition. Okay, 
So my philosophy is um, a Paul Eluard sentence. He's a poet, and he said, exactly, then I see the world as I am, not as it is. It's something I really believe in. We are all different. We will see one thing. It's the same things for everyone, but actually nobody will feel the same things when you see that. Because it all depends about your experience, the way you think, even it's just, I show you something, you will say, okay, this is something for, like it's an apple, the others say it's not an apple, I will see something else. For a challenge, it's the same. For everything in your life, it will be the same. So when you want to change your life, when you want to make things happen, you really need to first take this in consideration. Everyone is different, so you cannot ask the same things for everyone. Okay, the first things for me, when you really want something, you need to know a bit about yourself. You cannot, you cannot make a changement if you don't have a good opinion about what you can do, what you can't do. What you think about yourself is very important about what you are able to do and what you're not able to do. If you don't trust yourself, you will always become a loser. If you have an opinion about yourself and you can do it, you can try to do it, you have the potential to achieve things. So your self-opinion, it's the first key. Then from that, when you know yourself, you need to define your objectives. So every day when you wake up, if you want to change something, if you want to make the things happen, you need to have a clear identification about what you want. You need to write it on the paper. You need to make it day per day, week per week, and month after month. You have three different objectives, actually. You have the objective of the day, every day. You need to make your objective happen. Every day, you need to have a target to achieve this target. Then, you can check at the end of the week if you achieve your target of the week. We can be different. And at the end, after many weeks, after many months, then you will, I hope for you, you will reach the final target, actually, who can be a long-term self-development, who can be losing a lot of weight, who can be any things that you really expect for yourself. So the next step on knowing yourself is to know your profile. Once you know your profile, you have your objectives. You are clear with this. Okay, I want to make this change in my life, and I have all these objectives. I all write on the paper, and every day I will think about. Okay, it's not over, guys. You need to commit yourself a lot. You need to make things happen by invest your energy inside. Um, no? Okay. If you have any question, you can stop me during the speech. I was thinking you want to say something, no? Okay. So you need to really commit yourself. You need to engage all your potential to make the change, okay? So please act, do it, make the first step. Even to climb the highest mountain in the world, you need to start with the first step. And nothing will never happen if you don't make the first step. So please be sure you know well your potential. Don't make crazy objectives compared to your potential. For example, I'm, well, I just learned how to swim today, okay? And then I want tomorrow be able to finish an Ironman. I will say it's perhaps not a good objective compared to your current potential, but you can do it later, okay? So you're gonna make a plan for that. Uh, and you need to know your psychology profile. There is some champion that I train in the, in, um, in the swimming side who at the beginning they come in the club and they have a normal potential, but they are very focused. And the psychology of these kids were amazing. They are very strong, they never give up. And there is this other kid which is a, an amazing swimmer, a huge potential. But every time it's difficult, he wants to give up. He is lazy to train. At the end of three years training with us, the one who won is not the super potential kids. He finally gave up on the podium to the other one. So I believe more in the people who really are able to focus to make things happen than on the people who have already the potential and don't use it.
Of course, the best is to have the super potential and to be able to focus. Then you have everything. Yeah, world is for you. Then the environment, when you know yourself, is also very important. The environment you need to really understand how it works because it can destroy your objectives. It can really make things terrible. For example, okay, I want to lose weight. I'm on a strict diet. I respect a good plan. I'm training every day. And my girlfriend is cooking every night some pizza that I really enjoy to eat, right? And the fridge is full of ice cream. Then I try to don't buy when I'm going to the shop, but she likes ice cream. And she put all of this for it to control your environment. I'm, I'm talking about the professional environment, which is very important. When you need to reach a target, you have a different work. Everyone is different. OK, I'm working as a steward. I'm traveling everywhere around the world. I'm not eating at the same day, at the same time. I'm not sleeping on strict hours. And I'm a teacher. I, don't, I was a teacher, so I, I know the life of teacher is pretty routine and regular. So for me, it's easy to control. The other guys need to make with all the job, which is harder. And your lifestyle also is very important. So once you know your lifestyle, okay, I like to eat a lot. I like to go party. If I'm not drunk, I will not enjoy the party. And then I will be sick tomorrow. This is your lifestyle. You need to consider all of this if you want to change something on that. So regarding all of this, right, you are able to know yourself and to start the first step. And from that, we can reach to the process to change. So I'm saying, okay, it's French. It's les clés du changement means uh, the key to change, the rules to be able to control and to really change. I'm not saying then it's the truth and it's the super, um, the super rules ever, but this really works. I apply to myself, I change my own life applying this every day. When I focus on something, I never ever forget on what I'm focusing, and every day I make um, one more step to reach my target. And even if it will take time, I will get it at the end. So for me, the first thing is to consider your willingness, is the motivation. What is your motivation? With no motivation, no action. You need to know. If no willingness, don't try to change actually. You can give up already. It will never happen. But if you really want to, then you need to know exactly what is your motivation, okay? Then from your motivation, you can go on the com Ah, sorry. Okay. Thanks. You can go on the commitment. As I said, it's good to know what is important for you. It's good to know your expectation. But if you don't do anything, it will never happen. So you need to commit yourself. And it takes effort, actually. A lot of people don't like to commit. Oh, I want, I want to look that kind of person, but I want to eat what I want, and I don't want to train. And actually, I'm lazy to all of this, and Okay, then actually it's a balance. So try to always think about the commitment regarding to your objectives. That's why you need to know yourself. Are you able to commit yourself enough to reach your target? Then the focus. Okay, it's so, so important. This is actually a very hard portion because you can be super focused one day and the day after, you're gonna forget everything about that, and then you will be focused again. And when you forget your focus, you become weak, usually. You just want to give up, you're lazy to, to keep your program. So, as I say to the clients I'm training, I say, try to always keep your focus. It's the key of your attention. Otherwise, you will not have the changement and no improvement. Then you need to be rigor, it's a lot of discipline, it looks like it's not fun like this, right? You can make it fun, actually. You can try to find things that you like to enjoy to do, and then you keep going on this, okay? But you really need to be rigor. Otherwise, same, it will not work. Um, okay, the constancy now is the point that I really want to take time to talk about. I know a lot of people who are very strong 
opinions on what they want, they are able to commit very strong, they are a good focus, they are rigor and everything, but they miss this point. And this is like you will get worse benefits, you will get worse results than if you don't do anything sometimes. For example, the people who are um, trying to lose weight, right? They want to lose weight. They will keep doing this for a while, and then there's stress from the metabolism a bit, and then they give up a bit on one day and lose the consistency. It's too hard, or I want to enjoy, and I don't want to focus on this anymore. I deserve my time, okay? You can control it. You can make a day in your week when you control it. But sometimes they just, the, the work is troublesome, the family around is troublesome, the, the girlfriends bring you so many things. Then um, you're going to lose your consistency. Usually the, the results become terrible. So try to always, always, always keep in mind that if you lose your consistency, what's the point? And actually, it's like, um, okay, you want to go somewhere, right? You write it on the paper. At the end, I really want to reach this mountain. You want to go to the mountain? Okay. If you lose your consistency, it's like the current bring you back. If you stop for a while, you will go down very fast. And it's so long to reach on the top. It's step per step, you reach slightly to the top. And then when you lose your consistency, it's like you're gonna fall. So all the time you fall, at the end, okay, you stop now. But your target is there. Anyway, you need to go again and again. And so many people try again after lose and try again. It's very tiring. So you can make a pause, but never drop, never drop. In your program, be sure then at the end you want to reach there, so don't go down. Once you reach a level, keep your level for a while if you need to rest, okay, control, and then push again to go higher. But don't drop because at the end you will go again and you will do again the same effort. It's boring and tiring. Um, okay, I want to talk about the trust, which is so important because sometimes all of this is a lot of engagement and the people around you are very important. There are some people to support you. You really need to trust them, to listen to them. Okay, your, it could be your family, it could be some friends, it could be a trainer, and it could be yourself. You need to trust also in your own potential. You need to look at yourself and to be proud about what you achieved. When you look behind you after a long time of achievement, you already start to change. You need to sometimes take a break and to look what you did, okay? It's important to look forward and it's important to look behind when you make the first step because you can be proud about what you achieved. Even if the road is very long, you want to go so, so far away, but you already achieved this and it's a lot. So the trust for me is a very important thing and it's going with the respect because this make a lot of trouble with the people they don't respect themselves. When you are tired, you need to listen yourself. You need to respect your own body. You need to, res to respect, then you need to rest. You need to respect also uh, all of this, okay? You commit yourself so hard, you did many things. If you don't respect anymore all of that, then you have to do it again. So keep this key in your mind. And for me, if you apply all of this, actually, everything is possible. If you really want something, you can do it, actually. OK? Um, then I want to talk about the uh, possibility to readapt. OK? Once you start to change, actually, everything change. It's all system. So I make a change, I make a plan, and I'm making my first step, and then I start to change. Actually, you will change. Everything will change. Your performance, your weight, the resistance, the work count, the resting time. And, um, okay, on the not quantity um, number, you can, you can check also your social relation will change, professionally, psycholo psychological, the well-being, and your personal image will also change. So we love this. You need to check what change. Then from that, you will to, you need to readapt uh, your improvements, okay? 
So regarding your improvement, I'm sorry, because this is usually on the side. I don't know why it's happened like this. It's because, uh, I don't know. Oh, sorry. Can we? Okay, can we make it? Yeah, on the first, the whole, yeah. Just the three, thank you. Okay, so what I said is once you start to change, actually, you, tr you will readapt your target. You will readapt uh, your program about yourself because your profile will change with your improvement too. You are not the same forever. So I don't advise to people to keep the same routine of change all the time. I advise to look at the improvement and to be able to change the routine to keep fit the best of your profile. And, okay, this is actually almost over. I want to talk about the system. So, we were talking about um, the system to change, okay? It's all linked. So, there is nothing like one point will change one point, we change one point. Everything is linked. If you change something in the system, all the system will improve, okay? So as a student, actually, if you respect the key, we were talking about the willingness, commitment, focus, rigor, trust, and respect, you're gonna have the possibility to change. But you need to know your profile and your environment. You need to control it, and you need to keep it in mind. Once you know that, okay, you can make a diagnostic who I am today, what I want to become tomorrow, and what I need to do to become tomorrow. So what do you want to become tomorrow is your motivation, goals, and target. You need to be very clear on your motivation, goals, and target. This, actually, if this is not clear, nothing will happen. So you really need to have a strict opinion on this, and then you prepare your program. A tailored program, customize. Okay, because what you need is perhaps different than what he needs. But you want the same things. But you will not reach the target with the same program. Um, then actually, you're going to have to, from the program, see the appraisal, the follow, and you will readapt your program regarding your change. Then you have the improvement, the evolution come, and finally, you will reach your target, I hope. You will reach your target step by step. Your achievement, so will become like self-development because I really think that if you have, an, if you have a, a target in your life, if you have a, a goal, this goal is to help you to feel better. I don't believe that losing 10 kg is good. I believe that have a good opinion of yourself and be healthy is the real target. Okay? And doesn't matter your weight, for example, but you really need to have the self-development and the well-being at your hand. Once you have this, it's not over. There is the last portion. It's, this is terrible. Take, 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 take. Désolé. Can I have? I just want to say then, it will be, again, it will be linked, okay? It's a circle and all in the system. So once you reach the last portion, it's not over. Once you reach the last portion, actually, then you have to think again about your new target, about your new context, your new profile, and everything will start again. Because once you reach your target, there is something after. It's not over, you're not gonna stay in. Okay, I reached my target, and tomorrow, okay? So, okay, now I want to give you a challenge because I have to do it, and if you are queen to try, then let's see. I want 30 minutes of your time for the next 15 days. Um, I want to ask you to be able to train with my tips. And what I want for you is to get you fitter and reduce your body fat percentage. Um, so this is my point to train. I would like you to try to train on the morning before work. Because once you did it, you don't have to do it later. Don't postpone, it's not, it's not necessary. And do it in the morning is always a good choice for me. And you start your day with a high metabolism. 
and then you start on the good step your day and you can maintain all the day. If you don't do it, I'm not sure then you will be motivated to finish at night. Okay, you need to push more on intensity when you train. Try to change your routine and to always go a bit higher on intensity, even if the time is less, okay? You can train only 15 minutes, but make it faster. On cardio, for example, people don't like to run, I understand that, but try to push your heart. There is something very simple, check your heart beats, okay? One, six, zero is a good average or higher. Below, okay, below is below, but the improvement will be much more better from that target. Do not rest. If the session is short, do not rest. You need to train two seconds, then to wait, watch the TV, talking with your friends, and to do it again. Try to don't rest, but change the muscle group so you can do simple basic things like push-up, hops, plank, or squats, non-stop as a circus, but no rest between. Okay. To finish, some diet tips. I think you already heard about that, but it works and it's very, very efficient. So try to eat slowly, take time to eat. The digestion starts in your mouth, okay? Minimum, it's 30 minutes. Most of people, in five minutes, they are finished the lunch and they go back work. Then it's not good to lose weight, actually. Uh, drink more water, two glass every meal. Actually, two liter a day is a good average. If you train, you can, you can drink more than two liter. Uh, avoid sweets, sweets drinks. It's terrible. And you used to eat a lot of sweets who, who make your um, metabolism uh, getting fatter. Don't skip meal, you stress your metabolism. So when you skip a meal, the next meal, you will uh, build a lot of fats because you stress your body and he will think, okay, next time if you don't feed him, he need to get like some reserve on the side. Respect your balance, quantity, and quality. The dinner is important. You're gonna rest after, you're gonna sleep. Most of people sleep at night, right? So try to don't eat a lot before I go to the bed because it's the time actually where your body will uh, try to keep all from the food. And be active if you don't have a choice. Actually, if you go for a big lunch or a big dinner, try to don't sleep straight after. That's the worst. Have a super lunch or super dinner, then sleep just after, like Christmas time. Everyone get weight here because of this, okay? Uh, training, don't postpone. I mean, it's useless. You need to do it, right? So do it now, you don't have to do it later. Listen your body. If you are tired, if you are not tired, you try to push all the time, but keep listening. Surprise your metabolism, that's very important. Don't change. Change your routine, I mean. Try to, don't keep the same things all the time. Uh, I really believe in intensity. It's no point for me to be lazy when you do something. You are in the gym, you are in the park, do it well, do it strong. And cardio every day, if you can, at least 15 minutes is very good, and you can check your BPM. Uh, okay, I think I am done. Sorry, I like to talk sometimes, but... If you have uh, any question, I will be happy to answer to your question after the, the speech. Uh, I hope I make it a clear opinion about what is for me the key to change, the clé du changement. And I really want you to try to think that if you want something, you can act for it, make the first step, and actually make things happen. It's a real life philosophy. Okay. Thank you very much.